and then you're going to build your own power plant there as well? There we have already put my power plant one, which will be from waste heat cement and another 65 megawatt uh, wind power plant, which will be the largest again in Kenya and in Africa by any private sector for self-use put the wind power plant. Because if we don't have energy of our own, we cannot survive in, uh, in the industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because in, uh, impossible. The, your cost, the biggest cost in manufacturing is energy. So we'll put this wind power, whatever is extra, we'll put it into the grid. Unless they give us the transportation charge, I can use it in, my, in another factory, well and good. Otherwise, we'll sell them to the international price. So you, you'll be able to send it by Ketraco, I guess. By Ketraco, we'll put it into the grid, Suswa, uh -huh. Suswa that line, yeah. so that can be, uh, and I hope they will sell it cheaper. <laughs> so, so the, the, the good thing is that you get buy cheaper, but then you should be able to sell cheaper. Yeah. The, we have to work on the power, electricity in Kenya. That is a, a serious problem. Yeah, because a lot of businesses just go with the under. They cannot afford. Impossible. It's not, yeah, it's Imp even the Makati, to make the bread, you need power. Mm. You, to make a simplest thing, you need the power. Power is a basic thing, and that thing goes again back to the consumer. So it is impossible for consumer to, to afford that, to pay that. So we have to address that very seriously. Yeah. And that's why we are now focusing on energy, that how we can make the, uh, the company uh, uh, self-sufficient in energy. Tell me something. You're in, you just mentioned three counties already, Kuala, Pokot, uh, Imali, which is Machakos, right? Yes, sir. Um, uh, no, Imali, uh, the Imali is in Kajiado. Kajiado. Oh, Kajiado, yeah. yes, yes. Correct. And then we are also in Machakos. We are in Mombasa. We are in Kilifi. We are in uh, Nakuru. We are in uh, Nairobi. We are in Ruiru. In Kiambu. So, in Kiambu. That's about almost 10 counties. Almost 10, 10 12 counties. Also, we are in other countries. But this, these are, and my wish is to be in the, all the counties. All 47. Right now, there's a cash crunch in the counties. Yes. Uh, civil servants haven't been paid. County workers haven't been paid for three months. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting your business? Uh, we are more worried about our worker to, to be paid on time. Uh, but I, I don't know whether the county is not, the salary is not paid for three months. Uh, because I, I hardly focus on the county. I'll be very honest yeah. to you. Because we have to pay for 11,000 people. We have to look for the money from the beginning. We have to pay to Kenya Power. We have to look for the money from the day one to pay that. Because our salary and this is only coming to 2 billion shillings a month. Your overheads. Overheads and the power. 2 billion. Yes. So we have to look 100 million every day. And if, Almost. Sunday you remove. And if you don't? If you don't, then they will go on strike and we'll be closed. So it is not that easy to run a big industry, but you have to plan well. Again, I will say I have confidence on Kenya, and I have confidence on Kenyan that we are hardworking people, we are optimistic people. Whatever is the problem we have, it will be temporary, and we will be out of it very soon. Yeah. You've done work with the government? I have never done work with the government, and I don't supply to the government, not today. But it is in my, our company policy that never put a tender, and we never feel any tender and never uh, do a dealing with the government since I have born. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because uh, it's That's sometimes. A thing, yeah. yeah, because I'm a priest, I'll be very honest to you, Mimini Pastor. I, my name is Guru. We want to work in a right way. Our 50% income goes to charity. Why should I work where you have to pay for the money to get your money? Why should I work? Sometimes you are, your staff can do wrong. You are forced to do wrong things. So we, we, we never thought that we would like to work and supply anything to the government. Not today, not even the past. Do the government leaders consult someone like you? I mean, if you're, if you're spending two billion shillings a month. A month, yeah. I mean, it is a, it's a ridiculous and it is a big amount. So sometimes I... Uh, but God is great. Let me be very honest. In COVID time also, uh, we never uh, release anybody. Mm. All people were working. And uh, in, uh, in that difficult time also, by somehow, uh, God willingly, we were able to, to pay on time 
and we have increased the salary even in the COVID time to the to my workers. And no one was laid off. No one was laid off until today. They are working. My, I have staff working with me last 35, 40 years. Hmm. There's three generation is working with me. They are my family. They are my strength. They are everything for me. I can do it. That's my Kenya. Yeah. Tell me something. This is really, you know, you made me very curious now. How did it all begin? My beginning was, uh, of course, I was in the temple uh, when I was 16 years old and uh, praying to God, fighting with God that why you put me in this difficult situation because I am unable to play with my friends and all this, but it was for a reason. I used to talk to God in my language, whatever I know, uh, and God listened to me and he gave me everything. And I started my shop in Gikomba, uh, which was uh, many years ago. Me, uh, then I got married uh, when I was 22 years old, uh, very young. She was my, my wife is from Thika. So we, we used to work together. She used to drive the truck. Mm trailer actually your wife my wife i used to load because we can't afford driver at that time and we were four staff me my wife and two more to load she goes to isli she goes to gikomba somewhere wherever is to go she goes because we sometimes she goes sometimes i go to deliver the steel and that's how i started in gikomba my uh, that time our sales was uh, about 60,000 shillings a month or 100,000 shillings a month because steel was very, very reasonable. 36 shillings was a dollar at that time. 36? 36. 36 shillings a dollar. Wow. <laughs> wow. And, uh, but the things, uh, time changes and uh, things have changed. But, but God have really helped me. And uh, we had a good focus. We had a good wish for the Kenya. We had a good wish for our people and uh, hard work. And uh, our, our target was to make sure that we do everything. Whatever we do, it should change the, the people's life in the country. Yeah. And that's what gave me the success. You still talk to God? I still talk to God every day, twice in the, mor in the morning and evening. In the morning at 5.30, in the evening at 6.30. Sometimes he listens, he's very stubborn also. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Sometimes he listens, yeah. but, but one thing, Jeff, I must tell you, and I must tell to all the Kenyans through your uh, help of this media, that uh, in a reality, if you talk to the way I'm talking to you, if you, the way I trust that Jeff is sitting here, and if you trust the God that is there, if you talk, you will get the answer. Has he ever talked back? Every day. Every day, any difficult, I've gone through a lot of difficulty in the past. Like what? Um, it was many difficulties I've gone through. Some of them I may not be able to explain you, but it was uh, as, much, as big as my business could have been trampled, could have been gone down. But I, if, I am, if I don't trust God, then I have no right to tell you. If I, I can preach only if I practice. Mm -hmm. So I trusted on God so much that he, he kept on giving me the answer and reply, do this, do this, do this, and everything will be okay. I believe one thing, that if you are right and if you are truth, nobody can do anything. I did say in my, my speech in Kuala that I must say I'm not a politician, but I should say that the, this government at the moment has come, had actually speaking, nobody knew. They, they, I don't think so they had money. I don't think so they had power. I don't think so they had any, any uh, vaso, what you call that, uh, the control of anything. But today it is there. It is God. I'll be very honest to you. God can make you or me king and can make us a small uh, street boy. Mm. So that is God. That's why we believe in God. Our destiny is confirmed. Where we are going, it is confirmed. We have to give, go there. We will go there. And there is a reason for going there. What, why you are with me here today, there is a reason for that. It's God. We, it is God. There is something, reason. Will, you will see maybe after a few years why you meet somebody in life for a reason. It is destiny is fixed. Even Bible says your destiny is fixed. You do your karma. You do your work in a right manner. 
And if you do it in a right manner for the population, for the binadamu, ya watu, ya, 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 ya go mungu, if you do the work keeping in mind the people of, of your country, you can't do the whole world, but at least you can do for the country. Whatever you can, you will be always successful. I didn't have anything. I didn't have, you are saying country broke? I was broke. I didn't have the food to eat in the afternoon mm. or in the evening. Maybe once I get, I used to get the food. So I was broke. But God made me somebody today. It's not my hard work. It is my destiny was set by the God because my intention, our intention is to do for the others, not for ourselves. Did you ever think of giving up at some point? Uh, giving up for working? Yes. No, I don't want to give up until I am alive. Why? Is because giving up is, is for yourself. I'm not working for myself. I'm not working for my, my, my family. Because they have, uh, we have sufficient enough money to sustain this life. But you have to work for 11,000 people. And my dream is to employ in my life at least 50,000 people in Kenya. So if I employ 50,000 people, that time God will guide me that now you do something different. But I want to keep on working for the country. I want to keep on working to remove the poverty from the country in my capacity. And I will continue doing that. You think that's possible? It is possible. If possible, a person cannot have food in the afternoon and cannot employ more than two people. If the same person have got 10 to 11,000 people working for him, then this is a very simple job. At the same time, when you read in the newspapers or you see on TV, the amount of money being stolen every day. Yes, every day. Every day. Every day. See, <clears throat> there's a lot of money and a lot of leakage is there. There's no doubt about it. But what I believe that if I am good, I want to make sure that I do good and in the best where possible of in my life. And I should become the best person which God's like. Because when I, in our language, we say that when you will go to God, we, God will ask you what you have done to uh, my people when I sent you. I don't want to say that I have built the factory. I don't want to say that I employ so many people. I want to say that I have given the life to so many people. And on behalf of you, I have done something in the return of you have given me the life. And that is what is keeping me alive. People are stealing, no problem. But if I see them, then I might start stealing. Hmm. I, I, impossible, there is a fire everywhere. We have to look for the place where, is the, where there is no fire. You must be one in a million. <laughs> uh, there may be so many people, but may not be there coming out, but, but Kenya is a, is, is a blessed country and I'm positive very soon we will come out of this poverty. Yeah. And only Kenya is progressing very well in this crisis. Still, after you see what, what the people are stealing from the many departments and many places, mm. still Kenya is surviving. Yeah. And there is poverty, no doubt about it. We have to give them the hope and we have to give them the way. And the leaders, whoever is the leader is appointed by, by the cabinet or by the president and by the everybody, if the leader don't perform for the people of the country, then they will pay for it. Yeah. It is not uh, uh, our business, it is God's business. They will be punished for that. So they should know, they should, they have to work for the Kenya in a right way. They should not be sold. Wise words, Guru, I want to take a break, come back and talk about your new role that you've yes, been given by the president. You're chairman of the president's task force on establishing a national lottery. Yes, sir. Right? Yes. As opposed to gambling or betting? It is, yeah. It is betting and gambling and lottery. Okay. Let's talk about that. Thank and you. And also, what keeps you going? Yes. I can't believe you. Wow. <laughs> Two billion shillings a month. A month. We have to look for every month, whether we do business or not. That's 100 million a day? A day. If you remove Sundays and Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? And here I thought I was <laughs> suffering. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sleep sometime, but, yeah. but God grace, I, yeah. I sleep at 9.30 after seeing you on the news, and yeah. then I sleep. Yeah. 
every day I see your face in the evening <laughs> at night and then I sleep and I wake up at five. Yeah, I have that way of making people go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you, I can see. <laughs> Guru Narendra Raval Devki, folks, he's a chairman, group chairman of Devki. Everything from cement to steel, he spends, he has to come up with two billion shillings every month, paying salaries, paying Kenya power. Kenya power is about a billion shillings, ouch. I tell you, what a story. And he's still so positive and optimistic about this country. What excuse do you have? That's right. We're going to take a break, come back, talk some more. In the meantime, don't forget, Jeff Kanaga Live is powered by APA Insurance, where life can be unpredictable. Accidents can happen or unexpected illnesses can leave you with financial burdens. But with APA Insurance, you can protect what matters to you most. Whether it's your health, your car, your home, APA Insurance has you covered. Don't let unforeseen circumstances.